Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 in this playthrough of Unavowed. In today's episode, we're going to get up close and personal with some creepy ghosts. We're going to start investigating how this family and this lodger died. It's very interesting. If you do enjoy, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy the video. So I think we're in the Eddings house as we rejoin the game. There's lots of... Nasty, they're, they're scary. They, they look like naughty ghosts. Naughty? I think I meant nasty. That sounds weird. Um, we've got this guy in the middle, he's kind of playing with the ghosts, summoning them. He sits cross-legged in the middle of, glow of a glowing circle. He's chanting quietly to himself. Okay, why don't we just walk away then? Because this is all kind of weird. So, we could try and talk to him, or we could try and talk to the ghosts. I imagine we should probably try and talk to him first. What have we currently got in our inventory? Uh, we have a well-used screwdriver and a tacky hula dancer. Okay, so I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Neat fluffy towels, just waiting for a relaxing bath. With the ghosts in. Yeah, hello? Huh? Are you real? Yeah. I'm just hallucinating from No, life. we're real. We're actually real people. Real life. Oh, good. Been Hi. Here so long. So long, I'm not sure what's real anymore. I've been here three days, I think. Didn't think anyone would come. Nevertheless, we are here. My name is Montana. This is Vicky Santina. I'm Logan Brown. I could really use your help. Ooh, why? Yeah, does it have to do with the ghosts over there? I think you're, we already know that. Hold on. You, you can see them. Just a bit, I yeah. Actually see them. Yes. In so much as one can't see any lost spirit, they have no human form. Skeletons. Human form? Why did you get so angry about that? Every ghost we've seen looks like grey, shapeless blobs. We'll say clouds. I think clouds is more flattering than blobs. Clouds? No, no. That's not right at all. I see people. Two women, one man. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Yeah. I see. You are the one KK told us about. The bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. Yeah. You came here to help these three spirits pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Really? Is that why you're in that colourful circle that you don't seem to be able to get out of? wrong crap oh jesus christ i knew easy. they were naughty easy now i know oh, these are nasty ghosts oh shit she's calm for now i kind of need to focus can you help me or what i don't know you're probably gonna have to give us some more guidance later when i get this under control all right what kind of now i need to know their names is the best way to get through to them can you do that figure out their names Okay. Yeah, how are we meant to do that? Can you help us with that? Around. Look around. There's gotta be something. So we go pound the pavement. Just like any other investigation. That's all she says. I guess. Vicky. Whatever it takes. I go myself, but I'm kinda trapped. Yeah, you look very trapped. Okay, we'll be back. We'll go have a look around. Thanks. Seriously. Yes, yeah, seriously. Seriously, just shut up. Right. Okay, so there's not going to be any information on here. I don't think there's much point talking to these because they seem pretty pissed off. So we'll head back out of here. So we saw a family and we thought that, well, I thought, I thought the pictures could have been of KK, but I don't think they are because this is somebody else's house. Can we try and get in one of these rooms? Oh, we can now get in one of these rooms. Right, so what do we have here? A post-it notes um, with the words buy your plugs written oh god in angry letters. So these are angry spirits. <laughs> this looks like a teenager's room. Look how messy it is. I would know what a teenager's room looks like because I myself was recently a teenager. Ashes. Oh Jesus. god. Burning documents in a trash can. Could have burnt the whole place down. Could be worse. It could be people's ashes. That would be worse. Um, I feel like this could be something near the bed. Whatever it is, I'll miss it. 
Why can we look at that one? A Fisherman's Guide to Common Northeastern Pike. Maybe it's not a teenager's room. That's not the usual thing you'd find in a teenager's room, is it? So an image of oppressive suburbia. Neat houses crammed closely together. A picture of an adorable kitty. This is really weird. I don't understand. What is the connection here? The dresser is spilling over with rumpled articles. Articles of clothing. There's got to be something we can find from here. I'll look on the bed in a minute. You don't feel that tidiness was the inhabitant of this room's strong point. No, you don't, do you? At all. Seen as it's a shithole. Hmm. Right, so we are missing something. We have to be missing something. But I usually miss something anyway, so it, it's not really a big deal for me to have to come home. Oh, so this desk is heaped with science homework. This is almost certainly a, a teenager's room, isn't it? I forgot. I can't click on the fire alarm or anything like that. Right, well, we'll go and see if we can find anything else. I'm sure there's going to be something in here. Unless the clue is just the room itself being so untidy. So we'll try the other room first and then... Can we try this? No. We... So this looks a lot like the parents' room. This is a much... Well, I don't know. Actually, I, I, it just, it's just tidier. But then again, it does look kind of... Rebellious teenage hippie years, doesn't it? Maybe the parents were hippies. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, we can actually look in a table. Oh, a poem. Can we read it? For Mary Jane. I think he says Jane, but I can't quite... It looks like it says Jake, but Mary Jane could make no sense. May the roses that bloom from your beloved shell be a... Be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left it behind. Ah, is that a dog? They've drawn a picture of a doggy. How adorable. So we have a poem. A comfortable chair padded with cushions and draped with warm blankets. We could have a nap on that bed, it looks very cosy. We'll look in this other drawer. Empty. Anything in here? Huh. Some seventies reject clothes, a tacky umbrella, an old doll. So that this is definitely the parents' room. Huh. Some seven Well, we've been through this. Um, we're missing something. We're missing something, definitely. The f okay. Oh, it smells of marijuana in here, apparently. Yeah, I, I had a feeling the inhabitants were hippies. Sorry, I have no idea what you want me to do. Solve the mystery. Sorry, I... Sorry, I... Sorry, I... This is how it works, these games. Trial and error. <clears throat> the poem could be interesting. Let's go downstairs and see if we can find anything else. I'm not completely convinced we know where we're going, but oh well. Of course it's raining. Of course it is. Oh, probably red paint. Could easily be blood then. J plus A. All oh, right. Okay. 
A small compartment is built into the base, held in place by two small screws. Well, we have a screwdriver. Can we use that? One small double A battery. Right, so I'm guessing we needed the battery from that. Not sure what for yet, but we have a battery now. J plus A. Right, okay. Are we missing anything down here? This is them. Look, that's the dog. That is the dog, and that's clearly the lady that lived here because she looks like a hippie. Just getting their names. Art R8. So that looks like the father. Interesting, no pictures of the children or the child. Do, 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 do. How long was this guy's cup of coffee? Seems to have been supping it forever. So, do you know what happened to anybody at the Eddings place? Absolutely anything. What happened to them? They died. We know they died, but who were they? I told you, it's not for me to say. Just tell us. Come off it, Marcus. You and I both know you aren't employed by the police. You're employed by the MTA. Oh, Vicky's so, straight so in there. As far as the cops are concerned, you're a private citizen. You can talk to whoever you want. Ooh. And I should talk to you because? Ooh. Because you know me. I wouldn't ask you something like this if it wasn't important. Yeah. Well, I suppose because it's you. Oh, I'm glad we brought her. Right on. Thanks, Marcus. You're right. Three people died. The two owners, Art and Jess Eddings, and a student renting a out student. the student. A student. I forget her last name. Jess was found stabbed in the backyard. Oh, my God. He killed himself in the garage. Dana was found in the basement, also stabbed. Nobody knows exactly what happened, but folks have been steering clear of that place since. Oh my god. Well, I can, uh, people have been steering clear because it's evidently haunted. Could you tell me about Art and Jess? They lived here 20 years at least. They're the local artists. Everyone knew them. You'd always see them around the neighborhood. He'd be in that beat up old car. <laughs> Walking that old dog of hers. Come to think of it, nobody knows what happened to the dog. Hopefully she'll turn up. I think the dog's dead, but I don't know. <laughs> what about Dana? Do you know anything about Dana? I don't think he does, since as he doesn't know her last name. Not much. She was a student, I know that. Needed a cheap place to live. Jess and Art like having students around. They vibed off the youthful energy, they said. Wouldn't do for me, but if that's up to them, isn't it? I'm a student myself, so... <laughs> Don't even live with my fellow students. Live at home. Right, um, people have been steering clear of that house. Well, you know, a double murder and a suicide tends to put people off. Yeah, just a little bit. catch me going in there, I tell you that much. Why are you scared? Okay, see you around. How can you stay dry, pal? It's throwing it down with rain. Thank you for the information, though. That is really useful. Seeing as Vicky's mates here, it makes... I'm, I'm really glad we brought her. That probably saved us a lot of trouble. So, Mondana, you gins can really tell if someone is lying? Yes, nor can we lie um. ourselves. See, I think the other thing would have been trying to get into the garage door. For real? That's, if you want in there, we're... I do not... Stab it with a screwdriver. Okay, well, we know she killed herself in there anyway, so... It doesn't matter too much. Well, if we could get down, it be would be interesting to get down and have a look. We know the names, though, so that helps. I wonder who that is talking to us. Like, who is she to him? Right, we know their names. <laughs> this is the Eddings house. Does that help? <laughs> I'm going to even do it. I already tried that. Not enough. Okay, well, we know the first the names. names. is the best way to get through. Okay, so Dana, Art, and Jess. You sure? Let's try it. Well, no, I'm not making it up. Those names? Art, Jess, Dana. Dana, sorry. Jess, 
dinner. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell did you just do? No, no. Please, there's no need for this. Art, Dana, Jess, just relax, fellas. Please, relax. Is this how we all die? That was close. Close? That was a poltergeist. Let me guess, that's bad? Duh. You have no idea. A poltergeist forms when spirits are corrupted. It is a perversion. It should not happen. At least, it should not happen anymore. Well, it happens now. Duh. These ghosts attacked us. They tried to tear KK apart. Who's KK? Up in time. We need to understand what happened here. That's his spirit. Right. The spirit that's touched him. think I've got things under control. If you have questions, ask him now. Can we go? Is that a question? What is the circle you're standing in? That can obviously wait. So, what? what is this? What, go, go on then, what is it? Oh, this? KK taught me how to make it. Ghosts can't cross it. Ghosts as well as any creature of spirit. You know your stuff. We should have got in the circle. Experiences with such things. Can we get in the circle? Which is why I am concerned. Mages expend tremendous amounts of energy to create them. How did you manage it? Me? I just drew the circle. It was KK who turned it on. That is unprecedented. You and your spirit guide must be very powerful indeed. We're just doing a job, one day at a time. Or we would, if we weren't stuck here. Are you like stuck in your own circle because if you leave they're gonna kill you? Um. So is it KK? Why couldn't we see her outside? She is not a lost spirit, but an aware spirit guide. Different rules apply. KK and I are bonded at the soul. Who is she then, to you? She obviously has been. something to you. So, how long have you been here? Two or three days, maybe. I had some energy bars in my pocket. Yeah. They got me through the worst of it. But yeah, won't be long before my shoes start to look very tasty. Oh, don't eat your shoes, man. I'll judge. I'll judge. Even though you're starving, like. Yeah. Right. What happened here? Like I said, we came here to put these ghosts to rest. Usually, it doesn't take much. We talk to them a bit, learn who they are, try and get through to them. But these three, they got violent. Ugly. They went after KK, tried to rip her to shreds. Poor kid was terrified. Poor kid. kid. Just how old are we talking? She's ten. Jesus, what happened? We got this circle up. It calmed them down long enough for her to escape. We've been separated ever since. If she comes in here, the ghosts attack her. I leave the circle, the ghosts attack me. So, you see my dilemma here. You couldn't call anyone. All the spiritual energy screws up my phone, but even still, I couldn't bring anyone else in here. Too dangerous. So KK talked like a child, if we think back. So this shouldn't be a surprise to us at all, should it? Really? Why aren't they attacking us? Not that, not that I want them to, but why aren't they attacking us? Because they don't know you're here. Ghosts barely see other people. Only me and KK. As long as I don't provoke them, they won't go crazy again. Yeah, probably wouldn't provoke him then. So what can we do? I don't know. With other ghosts, KK does most of the talking. Ghosts relate to her more, being a ghost herself. But I'm on my own this time. These three won't listen to me. They're just so angry. So I hope you guys have some ideas. Because oh, God. I have no idea, man. My knowledge of lost spirits is minimal, but I have heard Eli speak of them. Poltergeists do not occur naturally. We need to discover how these three died. An investigation, huh? We know how to die, we've been told. How do you help them move Depends. on? Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. Oh, good. So we can bring some objects that could help. Ghosts are normal. Usually I can talk them down. Find some point of connection. Get them to trust me. But these guys, they won't even listen. They just hate. You are not alone. Supernatural beings have been getting progressively stronger. So things are just going to get worse? I cannot lie. Things will get worse. I am sorry. Who would have thought the hippies would be the angry ones? Let's focus on getting me out of here. 
then I'll worry about how screwed I am. Well, you're screwed now, aren't you, really? You did? Is it still there? I, I can only know. assume so. Well, get me out of here and I'll be happy to check it out for you. It's the least I could do. How the hell are we meant to get you out of here? We need to find out how they died. Right, let's listen to this again. Like I said, it depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually... We need to find out how they the died then, don't we? Works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. What about screwdriver? Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, you know. I wonder if we're allowed to open the door. The poem could be quite good. That could rem remind them. May the roses that... Hmm. Let's find the dog. If we find the dog, they'll love it. Right. We can't talk to them. We need to get out. I'm scared. I don't think we're missing anything in the house, so we're probably going to have to go on walkers again. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. What? What's going on? Oh my god, no. Everything, Dana. Oh no. Crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This man told me everything. Oh my god. What man? Oh no. no. Oh shit. Why are we involved in everything? Hi again, Dana. So obviously these people have died and we're we're a big part of this. Surprise! But Oh no, it's, it's all our fault. Talking is one thing, doing it is another. It wasn't just talk. It you was. Gave me instructions, a list of things to buy. So you admit it. You poisoned uh, my dog. Uh oh. Okay. You know what? Fine. Yes, I killed your fucking dog. It was uh -huh. destroying my GPA, my sleep. Not to mention Arabelle. So is she gonna what kill her? This is about your little rag doll. You promised to fix her months ago. She's been in your closet ever since. Just collecting dust. All right, dust. okay, rag doll. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Oh God, kill her, Jess. She deserves nothing less. The dead cry out for revenge. I'm trying to go as creepy as possible. You deserve to die for Oh my god. What? This is awful. You killed my friend. Uh oh. It was just a dog. Get a grip. You killed uh -oh. my friend. Oh. Stab. Mental suggestion. Coerced into murder. Typical demon tricks. I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of this death and brain. It was us. Even so, a murder should not create a poltergeist. More investigation is needed. Let's get back to it then. Uh, so, Dana was killed because she killed the dog. She poisoned the dog. So we're not finding the dog. The dog is dead. I c oh God. Not another one. Oh god. It's all coming back to me now. Like this before. I mean, I love my wife, I do, but What is going on here? If you want to leave, just say so. Oh, don't leave. What is I've this? I'm of many things, but not this. Why is that? Not what? Sometimes you need to capture a moment before it's gone. Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. Oh no, oh no. You're not gonna kill- is he the one that killed himself? I can't remember who killed themselves. I'm glad you are, will remember me. I hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it. Under my heart rate? 
It will be for me and me alone. And oh you, my god. If you ever come back, just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there, taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? Took an interesting twist at the end there. Well, wow. I fucking hell. I want this demon found. I want this demon dead. I I don't yeah. I mean if it was me I'd probably be like I'd rather not talk about this. A sore subject you could say. Uh, sorry, but we must. I understand your feelings, but I beg you, focus now. I don't really know what's going on. Your demon, however, has much to answer for. What happened here was no accident. There was a plan, a motive. We must learn what that was. Let's keep looking around. Good. Focus on the task ahead. Let us continue. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Okay, so we've got a screwdriver, a battery, and crucially, a good piece of information that says that we can open the garage door from the mailbox, something like that. Something behind the mailbox. So it's taped. The side of the mailbox. Not the most subtle hiding place, but sometimes simple is better. My dad used to hide our garage remote under a fake rock. Neighbor's dog kept digging it up. Yeah, so a oh, I've just smashed my computer screen with my mug. Um, a device with a single button. A logo on the side reads Garage Mate. Open Garage Door Sesame. Is the remote out of power? That used to happen to my dad all the time. Well, it's good you should say that because I have a battery. Oh no, he's... I don't want to know what we're going to find in here. It's going to be graphic. Is he in his car, maybe? I don't know. Did they move? I'm guessing they moved the bodies, weren't they? They moved them. Herb is healing of the nation, Bob Marley. Oh, a sturdy garden shovel with earth still on the blade. Right, we need to go digging then, don't we, I'm guessing. Anything else we can pick up? A reflective workman's vest. All right, cool. Oh, the license plate reads. Can we get that? That could be the kind of object we need. You're attempting to pull that off with your bare hands. Well, we do have. We can either. We'll try and use the shovel, I guess. Mandana should actually be able to do it. She's like super strong woman. Whatever you're doing, it ain't. Okay, Mandana. There is not enough of a gap to slip my sword through, unless direct method is required. Screwdriver it. We're stealing license plates now? Yes. Good thing I'm not a cop anymore. This is who we are now. It's been screwdriver, what's that? There's something the matter. Um there's a picture underneath a license plate, take a look. There's a picture of Art and me together. Okay. Oh, I see. At least you can hardly tell it's you. I mean, the lighting's terrible, and it's blurry. <laughs> I think it is quite tasteful. I'm just saying it won't hold up in court. Stab it, Mandana! Stab it now! <laughs> Vicky, shoot it! No, don't shoot it. The car might go up in flames. I was possessed. I was so, possessed. The more you separate yourself from the demon, the better. Just, just, just stab that it. Would not be the best course of action. This photo was hidden here for a reason. It could still prove useful. I really want it. Okay, we're gonna have to take it, aren't we? Can we look at it? Just see what's going on, or do we not want to look at it? I don't think we want to look at it. Oh, 
I think it might be a bit graphic for this channel. Not that I have other channels where it wouldn't be too graphic for, but, you know. Okay, let's go down the side of the house. I think there's some digging we need to do, literally. Probably the, something for the dog. Okay, it's going to be there, isn't it, with the plants? Oh, God. What are we doing now? Think I wouldn't find out. Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around. You slept with that man. Yeah, it was what I thought it was. I can't wait. Demon knows his back. You two obviously have some issues you need to work out. I have a name, you know. Be quiet. This is your fault. His fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry. But you murdered Dana. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. Oh, probably. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No. Murder is what's crazy. Oh, who should kill who? Oh, let's get in her head again. Hey, he betrayed you. He deserves to die for that. You're right. You are so right. Hey, he seduced me. Uh-oh. Say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Well, too fucking bad. Sword fight. 